everyone, welcome to our story time. Family Day is this Monday, so let's celebrate our families this week. Family is an important part of our lives. What can being in a family do for us? They can teach us important life lessons. They can show us love. They can provide food and shelter. Not all families are the same, and that's what makes families wonderful and special. When thinking about family, you might think about your mom, dad, or siblings. However, you also have other family, they're called extended family, and they include your grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. Let's read the Berenstain Bears Big Family Album and see if the Cubs learn about their extended family. The Berenstain Bears Big Family Album by Mike Berenstain. Brother, sister, and honey bear knew that there was always a warm welcome waiting for them at Grizzly Gramps and Grand's house. And of course, it was just a short bike ride away. So one lazy Saturday afternoon, the cubs found themselves happily pedaling along to visit their grandparents. Why, hello there, grand cubs, said Gramps warmly as he opened the door to the ring of the bell. You're just in time. Just in time for what? asked sister hopefully. A yummy smell rifted down the hall from the kitchen. The cubs hoped that they were just in time to gobble down whatever it was that Gran was cooking. I can see you getting a nose full of Gran's freshly baked honey nut cake, said Gramps with a laugh. There will be plenty of time for that later. Right now, I need your help carrying all this stuff up to the attic, he said as he pointed to a pile of boxes and baskets in the hall. The cubs heart sank. It was a lot of stuff. And Gran's honey nut cake smelled so good. Work before pleasure, said Gramps, lifting a box over his shoulder and climbing the stairs two at a time. Grab a box! The cubs knew better than to argue with Gramps when he was in his chore doing mode. Lifting the boxes and baskets, they lugged them behind Gramps. At the top of the attic stairs, they set their boxes down with a groan. Gramps was bustling around, raising clouds of dust as he shifted trunks and boxes to make room. He came across an old leather-bound book and plopped it down on a table. Here, he said. Take a look at this. You might find it interesting. What a chew is that? asked Brother Sneezing mightily from all the dust. It's a bear family album, said Gramps. It's a history of who we are and where we come from. Curious, the cubs opened the musty volume. The first page showed a big tree with bears perched all over it. What's this? asked sister. That's our family tree, said Gramps. The earliest members of the family are down at the roots, and all the rest are out on the branches. It shows how we're all related to each other. Wow, said brother. This guy down here is from the 1700s. That's over 200 years ago. Yep, said Gramps. That's my great 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 grandfather Hazika Grizzly who first settled in bear country. Gramps turned the dusty pages. Here's a sketch of Hazika and his wife Abigail. They saw a bear with a long beard wearing a coonskin cap. His wife had a wide bonnet. A log cabin stood in the background. Why is it a drawing and not a photo? asked brother. This is before cameras were even invented, exclaimed Gramps. If you wanted a picture back then, an artist had to make it. Oh, said Brother thoughtfully. It seems strange that he could be related to anyone who lived so long ago. As they flipped through the album, they came to yellowed photos of bears in funny old costumes. I guess cameras were invented by now, said Sister. Right, said Gramps. This is Great Uncle Morris, who was in the cavalry in the Great Bear War. They saw a mustache bear in a uniform sitting on a horse and holding a sword. Cav... Cavalry, repeated sister. Cavalry, corrected Gramps, and made soldiers on horses. Next came a burly bear wearing an apron and holding a big hammer. That's Great Grandpa Harry. He was a blacksmith, said Gramps. That means he made things out of iron. He was very strong. Look at his arms, said brother. They're huge. A picture nearby showed a frail looking bear wearing a shawl and holding a book. 
This is Aunt Emily," said Gramps. "She was a poet. See, here's one of the poems. A poem was posted in the album. I'm a bear. Who are you? You are a bear too. Then there was a pair of us. Don't tell. They're advertised, you know. Weird," said Brother, scratching his head. The next pages were a surprise. They showed two young bears dancing on the stage. That's me and Gran. Back when we were dancing act together," said Gramps proudly. "You and Gran were dancers?" asked Sister, shocked. "You betcha!" laughed Gramps. "We called ourselves the Grizzly Sweethearts. We knocked them dead in Puria." But the cubs were in for an even greater surprise. "Who are these two attractive young bears?" Brother asked. "That's your mama and papa in high school," said Gramps. "Of course they weren't mama and papa back then. Just Missy and Junior." But they look so young," exclaimed Sister. "And skinny," said Brother. "Well," chuckled Gramps. "I guess we all used to be younger and skinnier." As they came to the end of the album, the Cubs found that it was all about them. It was full of pictures of Brother, Sister, and Honey from their baby days right up to the present. "You Cubs are the latest chapter of the Bear Family story, for now," said Gramps. "But," he added. We can always add more pages when you cubs grow up and have cubs of your own. Cubs of our own," repeated Sister with a gulp. Brother thought about it. It was a little hard to imagine. You can mull that over for a while," said Gramps, smiling. But enough family history to come along. We're joining Gran downstairs. He led them back down into the kitchen where Gran was laying out five plates of toasty, warm honey nut cake. It was just a thing to satisfy the hunger of a bunch of hardworking, deep-thinking young bears. The bear family learned a lot about their family. What do you know about your family? Families come in all of sizes. Let's sing a song called "Some Families." Some families are big. Some families are small, but I love my family best of all. Rabbit story time is over for today. What do you like the best about your family? Join next week when the word of the week is forgotten. Thanks for watching. Bye.